Yo, what up YouTube? It's been a while here on the DCS front, sorry about that, but uh, life's been busy, and with the uh, F-15E shenanigans going on with RASBAM right now, uh, I've decided to transition over to the F-16, so while I've been doing that, I've been doing some basic aircraft handling and stuff, and I've uh, stumbled across the uh, SFO pattern. So I've been practicing that a little bit, and I thought I'd uh, record a video just to show you guys what we're doing here. All right, so we're overhead Creech Air Force Base right now. Got myself set up at 10,000 feet AGL, about 13,000 feet MSL. Uh, 10,000 seems to work with the uh, bags on the uh, on the wings. You probably start a little bit lower if you were a clean jet. As you can see here, I'm uh, offset about half a mile uh, to the right of the runway. This gives me an opportunity to kind of peek over and uh, see where I'm at in relation to the runway. So now what I'm doing, basically just looking for the approach into, approach into the runway. Uh, slowing below 300 knots so I can drop the gear. And then as soon as we hit the approach in, we're going to come off a high key. So right here, we're at high key, dropping the gear, trying to pitch for about 280 knots. Turn from high key to uh, low key, shooting for about a G and a half to two Gs. You can see I'm a little bit heavy on the G right now, but uh, I'm also a little bit fast. Transitioning to low key, I'm gonna try and slow it down a little bit to 270 knots for the low key to final turn. Shoot for about 3,500 feet at low key, as you see, that's pretty much right on the money. Altitude. Altitude. Don't be afraid to be aggressive here. As you see, I'm 10 degrees nose low, over 60 degrees angle bank. Coming down to the runway. So here I'm aiming. Basically, if I could, I'd try to crash right into the uh, the under run there, and then as we roll out on final, start to level off and uh, start the flare. Here we're gonna initiate a go around. Altitude. We're gonna go Altitude. climb back out to high key for another turn, just for some extra practice. Shooting for 300 knots in the climb, just to be expeditious about getting back up to altitude, and then uh, keeping it below 300 for the gear speed. So now we're a little bit past the beam the runway, so we're going to go ahead and start turning back in, still climbing in the process. Approach and, and we'll call 
high key and drop the nose, drop the gear, and shoot for around 280 knots. As you can see, again, aggressive pitch down, somewhere between 15 and 20 knots, or 15 to 20 degrees, nose low seems to work. And a G and a half to two Gs in the cross key turn. energy uh, on this one, so kind of extend it out just a little bit. Coming off the low key now, bringing that nose around. SFOs are all about energy management, so like I mentioned there, it was a little bit uh, high energy at low key, so I kind of just did a little fly off just a second or two uh, before I turn back into the runway. Crash it right in the under run again. Rolling out and rounding out. Here I forgot to lock my uh, Toby eye tracker, so the landing's not the best. But rolling out over the threshold, 190 knots. A little excess energy, so burbled a little bit. Get one.